Are you a hoarder, Dad? A hoarder? No. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> yes. This week we did a ton of de-hoarding and getting ready for the big launch party at the store. But in the middle of it, I went to several thrift stores and a garage sale. Why do I keep doing this when we have so much stuff already? I don't know, but it is a problem. Think, Bobby? We're going to be ready in time? Can we get the ghetto out of here before the 30th? No. I did spend about $100 at a sale. I was not looking for this yard sale. It just popped up right across the street from my sister's house. She's the one who wanted to go over. I saw a bunch of stuff that I could sell at the store, and so I bought it. I don't feel that bad because it's good stuff. You find some things, Danielle, that you need? <laughs> Hey, where's the whole yeah. I made a pile. I got some fun stuff for the shop and for me that I don't need. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw this sale across the street from my sister's house, my heart started racing like it always does whenever I see good junk. And if you notice that naked lady painting, I turned her into this mermaid. You're gonna see that coming up along with some trips to the beach and lots of great home decor ideas from the thrift store. I have bags and bags of stuff for the thrift store that has been rolling around in the back of my car for three weeks. Ellie said that I just took everything that I hoarded from this house and put it in my car. But I've driven past the thrift store two or three times and I always have an excuse. Oh, I'll have to make a U-turn. I'm hungry right now. I wanna go home and eat some ice cream. I need to get it out of my car. <laughs> I love the soft lines of vintage lady artwork. I'm always looking for old portraits that I can alter. So I am painting the frame and I also gave the entire print a coat of liquid patina because I knew I wanted to put the transfers over her. This is a paper print so in my experience the transfers will rip the paper and pull it up. You need to coat it with something and let it dry before you start applying the transfers. Now I'm just following her curves and creating a mermaid tail with chalk so I can adjust it as I go. My thinking for this is that it's going to look like a body tattoo. I'm using this fabulous floral transfer from IOD. We have it on our website. It's important to let the liquid patina sit for a couple of hours or even overnight. It dries fast but it cures slower and if you want those transfers to glide on you need to wait. 45 days until the launch party and today has been a total SHIT show. I spent three hours at the bank. The store is still very messy. I need to have a hoarder sale. I have things that I need to give up the dream on. I've got $3,000 worth of candle making supplies and I need to have a come to Jesus moment and just realize that I am not ever going to make those candles. I will give it all to somebody who will take it off my hands for a fraction of the price because it's overcrowding us at the store. Can we get the ghetto out of here before the 30th? Uh, no. <laughs> Jenny, what do you think? Are we going to be ready by the 29th? I'd be ready. You, you might be dead, but we'll be ready. Thanks. Dad, are you excited? <laughs> oh, whoopee. <laughs> what are you working on? What's he working on? He's working on his bone. We've got this old decrepit mirror, and Bobby is securing the back so that Jenny can put IOD transfers on it. It's super old. Quite like half as old as me. No, it's more old than you. It's like Edwardian or there's a name for it, East Lake or something. I was so happy with the way the mermaid painting turned it out that I wanted to do a gallery wall. I am taking some of the decoupage paper that we sell and I'm just decoupaging it onto the cardboard part of a vintage frame. I'm using the liquid patina and some water to tear the paper. I'm sealing the top of the paper with liquid patina and I am just painting this frame distressing back and adding a little bit of liquid patina over the top of the frame. This is the first one that I did. I have several more as you will see I found a lot of good things at the thrift store. I know you're saying why did you go to the thrift store when you're trying to get rid of stuff but I wanted to do a gallery wall. 
Less than two minutes away from where I live are two thrift stores and an antique mall. When I get stressed out or I'm in the middle of work and I feel like I need a break, those places call my name a lot. I try to resist, but I did take a little break and go look at some of the art. Vintage art can be very pricey. So I went to get some ideas and I went to look for some old frames that I could repurpose. This is a book of the art that's at the Louvre in Paris. I bought it thinking that I could rip out some of the pages and alter them. I know there are people who do not like to see books ripped apart I am not one of those people on the hoarder show when they're like you have to face reality <laughs> de hoarding is like letting go of dreams so I have all these little pieces of dreams and projects my neck is getting better but it's still hurting I am a little stressed we did a lot of fun projects at the store grandpa has been working really hard it is starting to look a lot prettier we have got to get ready for this party we've got to clean up the yard we've got to pull weeds we've got to de we are getting work done and my dad just finished this these are on our website they are the cutest things ever they are little seed packets that are like a card and a seed packet in one they're 2.95 you can throw them in a gift we have ones that say thank you very grateful happy birthday dad is hanging these shutters inside one of our cottages dad you think we're gonna get this all finished by the time we have the party i hope so it's september 29th i'm a little concerned are you concerned no. We have the dollhouse mark to sell. It's time to let go of this dollhouse dream. I was gonna fix it all up and IOD it, but it ain't happening. We're selling it with the furniture and everything, $100. That is pickup price. I found a beautiful image out of the book from the thrift store and I am attempting to rip the paper and decoupage it onto a piece of chipboard. This is Jamie Ray's decoupage paper. It's rice paper and it's a lot easier to work with than my book page. I also found a few pieces of art that were affordable at the thrift store. So I decided to take them apart and see if I could alter them. These are the small sheets of rice paper decoupage that we sell on our website. They are just $3. I'm ripping out the butterflies and the birds and overlaying them onto the existing artwork. I wanted to point out that there's a difference between the rice paper decoupage and your typical decoupage paper. Your typical decoupage paper is transparent, so you will need to make sure the surface behind it is white or you will pick up that darker background and your image won't pop. With rice paper, you don't need to do this, which eliminates a step and makes it a lot easier. After I put the artwork back into the frame, I decided to add some transfers over the top of the glass and the frame. This gives it more depth and texture and I really liked the effect. My dad built a demo booth out of salvage. This is for customers to sit down and test our products when we are open, but it needed painting. This is going to be our new greeting card display. It's the inside of the door to one of the cottages. What are you doing, Dad? The impossible. <laughs> Everybody loves you on YouTube. Do you even read the comments about you? Women across America, they think you're a national treasure. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to know. Levi, where did you get that, Levi? Who gave that to you? Bobby hung our chandelier. This is the area that we are going to have workshops in. And you can see we still have a lot to clear out and make. With still a lot left to do, it was Sunday and time to take a break. It's Sunday again. I got these new sandals. What do you think? It's milk. No, not meal. It's meal. It's meal because you go on the treadmill. It's a meal, so you eat cake while you're on the tread meal. <laughs> Candy, fruity flavor. <laughs> it's keto. What's your favorite thing to eat? 
Tacos and burritos. Um, <laughs> Emma, what's your favorite food? Uh, candy shop. <laughs> Ellie, what's your favorite food? Bread. Uh, a bread factory. Anything. <laughs> bread. Zach? Probably bread. Lots of bread. What's your favorite food? We just Filet had mignon. filet mignon. Filet mignon. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Danielle, yeah, where are we? I don't know. Where are we? You guys, I'm out. I, I got out of the house doing something social. <laughs> there goes Zach. You guys were asking who Ellie's husband is. There he is. He's a famous surfer. He's sponsored. He's in magazines and stuff. I don't know a lot about the surfing world, but Zach Flores is very well known. What are you gonna do, Ellie? Go spread it up. Debbie's at the beach. And after a wonderful Sunday, it was time to get back to the work week and my art projects. And this is the very cool artwork that we found at the sale across the street from my sister's house for only $5. I had a few more projects that I wanted to finish up. Some of them did not get finished and a few of them did not turn out the way I hoped. I did the same thing to this paper, added some bright colors just like the mermaid paper. And now I'm gonna frame it. I'm using the liquid patina to decoupage this beautiful mermaid paper onto a piece of art that didn't fit the space. I'm trying to blend in the background with paint. It turned out cute. If you haven't noticed, I love color, but one of the things I struggle with is using color in the right way. Often my projects can end up looking like they belong in a little girl's room, which is great if that's the look you're going for, but I'm always trying to create things that I would put in my own home. Whenever something doesn't turn out the way that I hope, I try not to get frustrated and figure out why it doesn't look right, which isn't always easy to why do. Why are you working back here in this dungeon part of the store? <laughs> He's working on top of the other project. Because there's there too much stuff. I know, <laughs> we're trying to clear it out. Are you a hoarder, Dad? Hoarder, no. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> yes. Secret door from the back of the store. Still lots of work to do. Here is the very cool shelf slash hook rack that my dad just finished. It was an old bed. This was a picture frame that he built a box onto the back and then we use the IOD inlays. And there's Jenny's new mirror with the transfers. Super awesome buckets that she has been working on. The transfers. That fixture that my dad built out of an old door. We have this inside one of the cottages now and it is for sale. Look, he put the lap and plaster on here. New little cups, they are also on the website. I am very tempted to take some home, but I'm not going to. Dad. What? Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm just having a blast. I know. Okay, my surfboard is painted. I'm starting to feel less stressed. There are some cute moments and there's still a lot of work. A lot of you have been asking about this bone density device that my sister got. It went on sale, so I decided to get one. It's supposed to help for bone density and a whole bunch of stuff. Apparently it's like working out. I'll put a link in the description. Program. So, There's different programs? Yeah, so I, I'm doing P6 program. That's my favorite. P6 and P7. What, is, what does it do? Exactly. I'm going for my <laughs> run. <laughs> Okay. Wait, you just wait because it gets really crazy fast. Does it start off slow and yeah. get fast? It's like, here, can I get on it with you? No. <laughs> it's interval training. Inter oh, I'm already sweating. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make you sweat? Yeah. I'm saying this as I lay on the bed. No. <laughs> Then I took a little break to go to the bank and I got a little sidetracked. Back here again, don't judge me. I, I do need something. I need two baskets for some plants that I have. I saw these really cool floor pillows for only $20 and then I saw this fun artwork to inspire my gallery wall. I mean, come on, it does look perfect. The basket now holds my ugly neck pillow. I could sit around and wait all day. They like to see you, Bobby. Why always? I do. You help me so much. 
Well, I'm such a nice guy. You are. Got me lunch. I have chicken and salmon. Thank you. If it weren't for Bobby, I would not be eating such good food. Why, That's Debbie? Why? Sure. I don't like to cook. Why? There it is. That way I have somewhere to put my keys. I ordered a new rug and I think I'm really gonna like it. It's gonna replace this rug because I spilled paint on it. This rug is five years old. This is where my hoarding issues come into play. This rug down here, the old one with the paint stains, I don't want to throw it away because it could be really cute if you just painted it pink or a darker color. I don't have any place to put it even if I did paint it. And I know if I take it to the thrift store, nobody will want it because of the stains. Ellie's like, just throw it away. The old me would just roll it up and shove it in a corner and then it would bother me for three years. I need to do this. I need to change my ways. If you live in driving distance of my store in Solana Beach and you want this rug, just leave Leave me a comment and I will give it to you. And watch my videos on how to paint rugs. Okay, can you see it? Here we go. Okay. Edit out the part if I'm flashing anybody. This also came from Wayfair. And it's stinking cute. I love it. I love it next to the pink wall. I'm not gonna put it in the trash until this video goes out in case somebody does want it who can come pick it up. is painted. I like it. I wish the stripe was a little bit bigger. I don't have the patience today to widen the blue. We're not done, but it's done for now. You're gonna see a whole bunch of editing. Not editing videos, but editing my life and my junk. It's been quite an adventure. So all of this needs to be dealt with. We need to sell it, get rid of it, fix it up, and make this area a wonderful classroom. It is Never looked this good. My dad is really good about water. I take care of it. It's really bad. Look at that. That is major. We should probably take some out and put it somewhere else. Thank you, dad. He's really good at gardening. We have just 40 days left to get ready for the big launch party. If you would like to come to our big event, we have the tickets listed in the description box. Find a little spot in the shade. Pink lemonade, pink lemonade. Everything is going my way Pink lemonade, pink lemonade I take a sip and I'm in heaven The dopamine is dripping on my brain Find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store, click the link below. And to find all the products used in this video, click the link below. Thanks for watching. Floating down the Riviera, now I'm Elon Musk. Find a little spot in the shade. Every single top that I have does this. It, it makes me crazy. I don't sew, so I end up hot gluing the straps.